Hi folks, it's Lucy and I'm coming in today to talk about our fourth healthier habits. So we're on day four and today we're talking about moving and breathing which will seem super simple and super obvious to a lot of people but also something that we forget about and it's so important for starting the day right, for getting movement and getting rid of stagnation and getting our blood and our energy going. So yesterday Rachel talked about um, starting the day right, so particularly eliminating, kind of clearing out the house. I've got my little pooch here joining in. Um, and making sure that you've gone to the toilet so that you get rid of toxins and excess stuff that you don't want. And then before breakfast, Moving and breathing deeply helps to clear stagnation from the night, get the energy going, get the blood going. This helps with our focus, with our creativity, it helps with how energized we are. When we have energy um, both in our bodies and in our minds, we have oxygen flowing through the body, then we make better decisions, we can be more creative. And those decisions are decisions like better food that we're putting in our body. And making better decisions about who we spend our energy and our time with, better decisions as to how to optimize our day. So it's not just about making big decisions maybe at work or discussions with family members, but decisions on how we can best use our body, use our mind and serve our body as well. So we want to be moving and breathing deeply and it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be just going for a walk and concentrating on the breath. It can be doing some simple movement or yoga. It doesn't have to look like anything particular. We want to be breathing deeply into the belly, not just up into the chest. So if, this is some, if you're a chest breather, then it might feel a little weird breathing in the belly. So I always say fake it before you make it, put a hand on your belly and breathe deeply into your hand so that you are encouraging the muscles to um, work with deeper belly breathing. This tells your body that you're safe as well. So if you're someone that's had a lot of stress recently or if you know that you've got stress in your um, potential stress coming up in your day or a full day, you want to be starting by telling the body that you're safe. If you are starting by telling the body that you are in for a stressful day and you're breathing high up into your chest, everything feels tight, your body will be on high alert, puts it into the sympathetic nervous system. This is your fight or flight nervous system. And this has huge impacts on our digestion, on our detoxification, on how stressed we feel and how um, jittery we feel. So starting the day with 10 deep breaths by moving stagnation in the body it doesn't have to look like anything particular. Some days you might feel like doing more, some days you might feel like doing less, some days it might be a workout, some days it might be a walk, sometimes it might be a stretch. You, you start to get to know the sort of movement that also works for you. So if you're someone that is quite sluggish and you do tend to um, couch potato, then getting up and just shaking that off, going for a run, or um, making sure that you're just moving and getting it going, having an accountability partner, getting your housemate or your friend to do the same, then that's a really good way of just getting things going for the day. If you're someone that is quite anxious and jittery, then it might be just taking some slower, deeper breaths and moving more mindfully is a great way for you to start the day. It might be that you want to shake it up and that's so great for the body. If shaking it up and doing things differently really helps the body to um, uh, to adapt to different movements and to not get into a particular rhythm. It also really helps the body to move stagnation in different parts of the body. So if you're doing the same thing over and over again, then there'll still be parts of the body that have stagnation. So you want to be shaking it up and trying different things and do things that really that you really enjoy. A lot of the time, and I've had this in the past a lot, is that um, my movement, I felt I had to do, I had to be hardcore, it had to be cardio, and I didn't always enjoy it. 
And when you don't enjoy the way that you're moving, also your body is affects it, your body is affected by how much you're enjoying it as well, and it really affects whether you're going to keep it up. So now sometimes, you know, now that I've got a little dog as well, like taking a slower walk in the morning is so lovely. And then sometimes I go and work out with a, a HIIT training or cardio, and sometimes it's yoga. So ch- ch- changing it up and keeping it interesting for your body and clearing stagnation in different parts of your body. And as I said before, sometimes it will be uh, a longer movement, sometimes it will be shorter. And then we go into our breakfast. So you've, you've done the tip that Rachel said yesterday of eliminating and starting the day right. And then you're moving and you're breathing deeply, connecting the body and the mind. And then you're moving into your breakfast and into your day. Even if you start the day right like that, drinking lots of lemon water, really getting things going, eliminating all the stuff that you don't want to be sitting in your bowels. And then moving, connecting with the breath. Just notice how that affects the rest of your day. Notice how you might feel differently at work or how you might relate to your housemates, family or friends that you're living with. How you might feel a little less anxious. And if you're curious about the relationship between moving and breathing and how you are for the rest of your day, you can write a diary. Write a diary like today I move, walked for 10 minutes and concentrate on my breath. And this is how I felt during the day. Today I, I went for it for a, um, at a workout. Um, if you're menstruating, then you might want to take it a little slower as well, and it's really nice to um, just change things up depending on where you are in your cycle. And those who don't menstruate, then you might feel that you just want to change things up to um, to just keep things fresh in your body so you don't get used to it or feel like you're getting in a routine that's not serving you. So that's our tip for today, just moving and breathing, starting the day by shifting stagnation, changing it up, not having, not being too stressed about what it looks like, or having to be a full yoga practice every day or anything like that, but just moving that energy and starting the day right and just notice how much it benefits the rest of your day. That's it for me, saying hi and bye to everyone. <laughs>